All right, well, summer coming to a close and professional basketball season is about to get underway in the fall. We're blessed with one of our alumni, Sam Burt, heading out to Iceland for the second year in a row. Uh, five years away from the program, but I know that uh, this place means a lot to you. Why? Um, so for me personally, uh, FPU feels like home. Uh, FPU always um, was a place that I feel like I could grow. I could be myself. I didn't have to be somebody else. You know, I was accepted for who I was here. Um, they brought me in to be somebody that could be, you know, kind of a leader and somebody that could be a good example for the, the program they wanted to build up. And so for me to be comfortable and, you know, in my faith and to to be, have that basketball experience with people that really care about me as a human being, it was an amazing thing for me. Well, you certainly embody that. You talk about a legacy. You've been gone for five years, mm -hmm. but you still come back. You have relationships with, with all these guys. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the, the fraternity is growing, right? We yeah, just talked yeah. to Darren Person yeah. a couple of weeks ago. Uh, what, what makes it so important to you to connect back to the current team? Um, with the current guys, you know, I just like to see that the level is growing. So, like, the program itself is growing. Uh, honestly, when I was here, it was a new it was a new coaching staff with Coach Haydock coming in and it being, you know, a, a young coach. Um, so we didn't have the level of play that they have now. Mm -hmm. So to be a guy that, you know, is, has kind of been around a little bit and seen different levels and experienced different things, to see that they're, pro they're growing the program here and that they're able to produce pro guys, I want to try to hopefully be helpful in the, those guys' journeys. Yeah, you talked about Coach Haydock a little bit and – uh, your relationship with him, in, in probably got some B-roll that I'm running right now of you working out with him the, the other day. Um, what's the impact that he's had on your life, and, and how has that changed since you are become an alumni? Um, for me, you know, Haydock recruited me as a person. So first and foremost, he recruited me as a person. Um, you know, it's it seems kind of, it, it, recruiting can be kind of gimmicky. Yeah. They can tell you one thing and then you can get on campus and it can be a different vibe. Um, you can see how fast you can get kicked out of a program, how fast you can get run out of a program. But, you know, Haydock said that he was committed to me. He said he was committed to me being helpful in the program as much as I could be. You know, he, would, he, he didn't want to make any promises of what I could, you know, do on the court. But he said that no matter what, he was going to love me as a person hmm. and that he was going to give me that opportunity and space to, you know, grow. Um, off the court especially and then on the court as well and with that you know I just couldn't really um, find any better situation mm -hmm. than being a part of a program where they really do value you and you know want you to feel like when you leave this program you're going to be ready for life and then you're going to have people around you that care about you even when you're gone for a long time you come back and it's like you never left. Mm -hmm. Wasn't the easiest decision for you to come here because you had to sit out games when you transferred mm -hmm. and so I'm sure in that process you had to weigh it, but when you look back at the, the choice and the journey to get here and playing for other schools, what was the separator and what, what is the separator that makes you so connected to FPU? Yeah, so I mean, I've, I went to four different colleges. I went to two different JUCOs and I went to two NCAA programs. Um, in terms of relationships, I don't have any relationships with the past programs that I went to. The two joke, the two JUCOs that I went to. I mean, JUCO is a hard is a hard route. The coaches funnel a lot, but I, I don't I, I haven't talked to. I'll, I'll take that back. I have one coach that I was really cool with in my JUCOs, but it's, sometimes it's hard. You lose. Sometimes that channel is is disconnected. Mm -hmm. Not because mm -hmm. they're not a great person, but just because of, you know, sometimes it's time to let go, things go, and they're mm -hmm. they're busy. They have different things. They're in a different place. So, uh, all love for him, but. In terms of relationships with my past programs, I, I don't have ties mm. with any of the programs I went to. Um, no disrespect, but just being here and the relationships that I built here was just so much more meaningful. Mm. Um, and so just to, you know, have that to lean on and, and have somewhere to go and, you, and have like a community that still is so important to you after those mm. years is it's you can't really put a, a price tag on that. Mm. You can't the value for that is to me it's, it has such a special place in my my heart that it's like home you know so it's easy to ask you then like how fpu and coach haydock prepared you to be a professional but how did they prepare you for life especially when you have played in so many different countries around the world yeah so i mean i think just the the the, the thing of them 
putting so much value on being a good person in your community helped me a lot, you know. Um, being there, our phrase, you know, my whole time that I was here was first things first, mm -hmm. you know. So, like, being a good human being was always top of the list, you know. Like, they recruited to have good human beings on campus, and that kind of trickled down, and it, and it turned into they found easily were able to find good people that were good players. Mm. And so, like, the, the, the level has grown so much while keeping good people. And so them getting that, that kind of dynamic has helped me to assimilate into all these communities that I've been in. Everywhere that I've gone, it's like I've built such real, genuine connections. And people have always, you know, every place that I've gone, it's, it's been kind of the same experience. The people that I interact with, they, they value me because they see what means the most to me. Mm. The reason that I chose FPU is because I, I loved how much Haydart really cared about me, how much he loved me. So for him to put that love into me is the same love that I put into the communities that I go to. Mm. And the same and that, that love kind of makes me want to work harder and help the, you know, the clubs that I play for be successful. And also there's youth programs in each club that I play in. You know, every club program basically in Europe has a youth program. Mm -hmm. So they have kids that look up to you. So to be kind of a good person and, and kind of build that up has been helpful for me to be a good example for the, the youth that I've crossed paths with too that's, in so many different countries. That's awesome, man. We, we appreciate your impact here. How can we support you? How can we follow you when you're um, in Iceland this year? Yeah, so this year I'll be playing for a club called Snaefell. Um, it's a very uh, historically strong program. It's in a basketball town called Stikisholme. Um, they're known for having you know some, some fun fans, for wanting to be a great basketball team. Um, Facebook is usually the easiest way, so if you want to go on to Facebook, they'll always stream the, stream the games on there. Um, and, yeah, I'm just hoping that I can uh, play with pride and play with a high level. I hope to try to be a, an MVP candidate this season for the league and um, really take that next step in my career. And I'm just grateful for, that they gave me this chance to be kind of their, their focal guy for the team. And so, yeah, just Facebook really, I think, would be the easiest way to follow along. And Snaefell, I can... If you want me to spell it, I can, but otherwise... Maybe we we'll run it here on the yeah. bottom. Yeah. But, Sam Burt, we appreciate the time. A true FPU legend and a, no a cornerstone of the program that FPU basketball has become over these last seven, eight years. Be sure to follow him. We'll, we'll have the link uh, below. And uh, looking forward to Sam Burt basketball coming up here in October.